Welcome to Wallington Filming. Yeah. So, until next time, from the Candleman. Catch you Hi later. you guys, and welcome back to Wallington Filming, Painting and Decorating, Trade Secrets, here in the UK. The Great Britain, as they say. Right, what we're going to do in this video is basically show you skimming a ceiling. That's it, plastering a ceiling. What I've got here, which I'll show you in a minute, is a, an old 100 year old terraced house. And uh, I've got a ceiling up here with the original coving round. And I want to I skim this ceiling, so I've got a nice flat ceiling. Uh, it's the sort of thing like a lot of people want to do uh, in their out in their own homes, basically. So yeah, I want to skim the ceiling. I'm not actually going to skim it. I've got my mate uh, coming round on Saturday to like put a couple of coats of uh, skim on that, so I've got a nice flat ceiling. And but and what I'm going to do is have a future video on. Um, uh, painting the ceiling in a duet finish, which is, which is similar to like a rag rolling effect. So, them videos will be out uh, shortly. But first, I've got to get the ceiling nice and freshly plastered, so it's nice and flat. Seal it with a uh, white paint, and now I'm going to do a, a duet. So, but but this video is just going to be on plastering um, a ceiling. Now, one of the first things you're going to need. Um, you're going to need something like a stock brush. This is like an old pasting brush I've got here. So I'm going to like, what I'm going to do to the ceiling is PVA it. Put a, put a, a, a it's basically like a glue on the ceiling, right? And um, I'm going to put it on with this stock brush. So like I say, what I've got is, uh, it's just a, a Bostic PVA. There's two and a half litres there. And you want roughly like um, one part to four parts water. So what I've done, I've like basically uh, got half of this tub and got the equivalent in water in a, in a uh, old emulsion tub like this. So this is roughly half full of water and I've tipped half of that PVA into this and gave it a good stir. So what I've got to do now is PVA the whole ceiling, right? So, and uh, I've got to put two coats of that on. Now, you must read the instructions on the PVA itself, and it basically says a couple of coats, and ideally, in an ideal world, um, you want to be skimming the ceiling while it's still tacky, right? So, that's what we've got to do. So, let me get the ceiling uh, PVA because like, it's getting late and I've just done roll two houses out today and I'm completely knackered and it's getting off seven o'clock. I know, pretty old man to say. But you know, life on construction, this is what you have to do. So yeah, let's get on with it and uh, I'll give you a bit of a close up of the PVA that I've bought in. It's, get it from any B&Q, you know, it's not rocket science, is it? So yeah. Let me show you. All I'm going to do is just show you, like, me, me brush. Right, so here's the ceiling. As you can see, nice original uh, feature there of the original coving. Yeah, look at that bay window there, look. Nice original coving. And uh, I don't know whether you, you should be able to see it, but. Um, oh, I've just got a fine artex on it. Okay. Yeah, you should be able to see that. See that fine artex? Well, I want to get rid of that because I want to do the ceiling with a duet finish or sort of like a rag rolling uh, finish. So, there you go. Right, so here's a tub here. Just got an emulsion tub, it's about half full of uh, cold water and I've mixed in uh, about, uh, well, it's half of that tub, which is like, what, one and a quarter litres into that. Yeah, it's just it, it's like like a bit of a uh, wood glue smell to it. Uh, PVA, as you can see, Bostic, and it's just for getting the ceiling ready for plastering. So 
Yeah, there you go. Just using a good pair of steps. Now you got to watch it for this because it's like bloody water, literally. There's no thickness to it. So unless you want soaking in the damn stuff, I would recommend just taking your time with it. As boring as it is, you don't want to get covered in PVA glue, do you? All I'm doing is just dipping the brush in. And coating it up. They were the days, weren't they? Jesus. And that's all there is to it, really. It's not rocket science. You know what I mean? Get yourself down the early learning centre. Get yourself a stock brush. The bigger the brush, the better it will be for you. Obviously. And that sort of light. I'm here today, Saturday morning, with my mate Sam. And look, I've just made you bacon sandwiches. Fucking proper looked after, oh, you, mate. Granary bread as well, yeah, lovely. Yeah, proper stuff, Frank, mate. Tell me some, mate. Yeah, yeah. Full of, like, cholesterol and fat. <laughs> and shit like that. And is it? It's plaster my scene, isn't it, mate? Not just, not just a good painter. Not just another painter. Fucking skimming the loud ceiling. Yeah, stuff, Mark. Yeah. That's a nice tip. Yeah, I better set this looking good next day, aren't I? Best Are you good at plastering then, sir? Oh, amazing, mate. <laughs> sure you got your best gear on. <laughs> Well, I don't know, he's right though, grabbing one for that, I mate. no money in the job, is there? What? Build this ball. So, what's what? So, for all, all my viewers, Sam, um, what, what are you doing here, apart from the obvious? Well, what you do, because it's an Artex Cena, you've got to get a coat on, let it stop, win off a bit. Bang another coat on, then you can try it up. Oh, no. Not something for your DIY person, really. Oh, not the ceiling. It's hard work, isn't it? I think. Well, skimming. You got a bit of a knack to it, ain't you? Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not. As long as it looks plastered, <laughs> I can I can probably put it right after. <laughs> Just got a few bits of aims to do on it. Yeah, you know. I need a couple of bags of filler off. <laughs> oh, gaff off. <laughs> well, Callie's not been on the job, you know. On well, what job? This job. I had to oh, see what I'm saying. Yeah. That kitchen I done. The fucking first lot I lived in, he came me in hand and I had to use a fucking bag of filler on it. Nice to see you got some uh, proper uh, apparatus for sanding on. 
Well, not quite kids. sure if it's going to take all that muscle, though. You've got, you've got to have the right stuff to go on with the job, haven't you? All the fucking cleaning I've got to do with you, God. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I think about getting this in. I have got your permission, and I, to use this footage on YouTube. Well, it's never fucking stopped me before. Stopped you before, hasn't it? Is that yet? Yeah. It is copyrighted, so if you make a fortune from it. So yeah, if I make a fortune from it, I've got, I've got to like, weigh you in. Fucking you too, right? You've got to weigh me in. <laughs> like you say, it's lonely at the top on your own. Well, it is, isn't it? What happened? I was working on this job with my old man in the middle of nowhere, not even a shop mate. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it was like get one, you know, one of them gate houses. What scared to go off sitting? Yeah, you know the old, the old like gate houses going up towards the manor sort of thing. Yeah. But they sell them off, don't they? And uh, make a fortune out of them. Yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, Anyway, so my old man says, it's got a garage there, it's got like a newly built garage there. Yeah. And he said to me, Dad said to me, right, he goes, uh, make sure you don't leave that garage door open. <laughs> it's like full of his golf clubs and shit like that. Yeah. Like, oh, okay, you know. So anyway, I, I had to keep going in and out at all the time for my paint. Yeah. And the window cleaners turned up. And I'd left it open because I was painting the window right near the garage, like 30 foot away, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, so the window cleaners come, cleaned all the windows, all painting that window right, so I could keep an eye on it. And uh, I could see the finish. Then one of them come back and started re-cleaning re the window right near me where I was painting this other one. Yeah. And I thought to myself, this is a bit funny, what you know, what's he what's he coming back here you're having a chat with me, this, that and the other. I thought he's a nice bloke, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and then not realising, the other wanker. We're in the garage, nicking all the fucking golf clubs. The wankers, aren't they? So that's why you don't want our window cleaners, because they're a bunch of thieving bastards. And like the, you know, they clean your windows and all they're doing is like scrutinising. See through your window, see what you've got. That's why I have a window cleaner because I've got fuck all living in a council house. Well, yeah. <laughs> according, according to somebody we know, you live in my way in, uh, in a council house, got th had three kids and divorced and uh, lost your house and everything. A prestige area in Loughborough. Yeah, yeah. So apparently that's, that's. Like the council tax is £148 a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Council house. Fucking <laughs> okay, brilliant. <laughs> and you were dead serious about it as well, mate. Yeah, the bloke's a fucking idiot. Absolute fucking idiot. I thought he'd be your mate, though. I think more, mate. No. Yeah. Fucking your mind, only mate. Oh, oh he is, mate. That, that hits me right here, mate. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't be doing this for him, that's the fucking job. Yeah, so that's why I'd rather clean my own windows, mate, because wind cleaners are just feeding bastards. I put a video on last night, that hints and tips three. But someone, someone could put down rubbish. <laughs> really? Yeah. There's some fucking idiots on that YouTube. Fucking damn rubbish. It's not rubbish, is it? I tell you what, I thought that was quite a bit of a valuable information, that. Well, yeah, you turn up on site, try to get in the plot. Like me. And you can't go in? Yeah. But not then the people on YouTube are the ones who paint Mr. Smith's lounge, get out at 9 o'clock and they're gone at 3 o'clock and earn about 60 quid a day. I know, fuck it, I'll, I'll get out of bed for 60 quid for Well, no, I wouldn't. Well, you have to do it. Well, yeah. <laughs> like I say, only for you mate. Oh, well, thanks, mate. Cheers. You're holding your trout flat. Oh, you got to skim it. So you need to go that way. Yeah. And then back that way. Oh, nice. Rather oh, than... Good luck. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh right, yeah. Oh, 
Fucking well for knowledge, I am, man. Yeah, really, to be fair. First off, another mate did pass through. He was looking good at the taxi. So. What you want to say? <laughs> I was just saying, I was just saying he was good at plastering. Mind you, he was good at fucking everything, including getting birds, which used to really annoy him. Yeah, I can imagine. Oh, yeah. But you used to go out drinking with him, and I bet you didn't used to get out, did you? I used to get, I used to get all the ugly ones, and he used to get all the babes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. Just get having an Earl Grey, Lady Grey cup of tea. Oh, gross, mate, I hate that stuff. <laughs> I tell you what, funnily enough, right, joking aside, I, I, when I work, worked at Lady and Colonel Martin's house in a little village in Leicestershire, that's what she gave me one day. She was just a cup of tea. I went, oh, yes, please, like, you know, as you do. And it come out with a fucking Earl Grey with milk in it. Oh, oh it, no. And it pooped my fucking guts. Oh, no. Me. I had to chuck it in the plant. I had to put it in the flower bed. Yeah, and that it. died the following week. <laughs> <laughs> right, go on then, what, what were you saying? Just got the first coat on the ceiling. Hold on. Oh, yeah. So that's what you do, is it? Yeah. Just lob it on. Lob, lob it on because it's Artex. You've got to get over the Artex. I'll put the next coat on a lot smoother than that and then I'll get half hour then I'll trial it up. Oh, right. Whoa. Looks great, mate. <laughs> Love that. And as you can see, this is what you have to do. You have to sheet up everywhere. Yes, because, because uh, plastering's a bit messy, isn't you it? You can't mate? control where the plaster goes. No. Like on the walls and up the windows. On my new fucking neck curtains. <laughs> <laughs> so I just paid 20 quid for it. Mm. Oh, yeah, looking well, mate. Looking well. Looking well. Right, I must crack on. Hold on. Go, show me the guys. It's been your trial action. Look, see, then flicks it, flicking it from one side to the other. Beautiful, that is. Oh, but I tell you what, I can't believe how many talents you've got, to be fair. Mate, I'm not just a painter, like I say. Not just a pretty face, really, that's what I would say. Oh, this is where all the finesse comes in, isn't it? What's that? <laughs> oh, finesse. Looks well, looking good now, mate. Oh, what are you doing, just like? What, just what's this stage? it off. Ready for a final trial. Just getting it smooth, getting all the nuts and crannies around this uh, feature. 1940s <laughs> pure fucking pads, plaster fucking ceiling rows. Pre war, mate, that <laughs> Pre war, mate. Yeah, just getting it ready for. So, what do you have to do? Let it go off for a bit? or? Yeah, I have to let it go right until it's just about to set. Yeah. Splash then... it with water. Oh, that'll be polish fun, it, won't it? Hey. I'll be anywhere. But in the meantime, I'm going to have my cup of tea. No, I, I can't say I'll blame you, to be fair. It's got to look pretty good, though. It's going there, it's still a bit wet in places. Better than Artex, let's face it. Fucking Artex went out with a fucking sea. I know, I used to do a bit of that, you know. Did you? Yeah, a little bit. You know, did you ever remember Brett? Apple yeah, yeah. Just do a little bit with him. Really? Yeah, he was quite good at it. To be fair, he actually did it all the time. But um, he said like, "I've got to jack this in." He says, "Cause like, just knackers your back." Oh, right. Do you know what I mean? Bending backwards all 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 day mm. long every day, which you can imagine, can't you? It would knacker your back, wouldn't it? Oh yeah. Just so, so yeah, basically. Yeah. Look lovely when it's dry, wouldn't it? Like the map of the Alps. Well. So, yeah, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's oh. what the stage you get it up to, and he's got to do a final trial when it's gone off a bit more. Not bad for a decorator. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm all talented at the end of the day. Well, it goes without saying, does it? I can't wait till your Simpsons channel. Yes, stay tuned for the grand opening of The Simpsons. Yeah, remember, you heard it here first. <laughs> Bit top channel. We will. Hey, if the others can do it, mate, and you're, you're laughing because you've got the name, ain't you? Simpson. I mean, I'm halfway that's, there. I'm halfway you're there. You're halfway there, mate. Bit of artwork for your thumbnail. That'll go down well. You know. Blue air. Is it blue or yellow? 
yellow place, yellow place, blue hair, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So you got the name, and then you know, you'll be laughing, mate. I'll tell you. Lovely. The Simpsons. <laughs> do, 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 Oh, brilliant. But nice to get a coat of paint on it, though, wasn't it? Mine's more. Mmm. Because, like, it's so dirty. Yeah. That's the thing. I mean, seeing the crap coming off the ceiling with the PVA, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh. Right. I can't wait to see your house. Oh, you're good. You have to come out one day, yeah. Come out for coffee, Mark. Yeah. Preferably when I'm there. Eh? Preferably when I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, right, is he in? No, right, I'm on the way. Yeah. <laughs> is he in what? So, Real sad one. Is it there? No, it's gonna work. Right, so it's about 30 minutes. <laughs> right. I love that. You're a big lad, ain't you? Uh? Well you do, do you? It's all them steaks. Thinking of which, oh, I've got to go and buy some meat today. Right? Oh, I can't be tonight. Steak. Oh, oh nice, lovely steak. Yeah. So, what are you doing here then? Splashing a bit of water? Splashing a bit of water on and trailing it up. This is a bit, takes a bit of time, isn't it? Yeah. Getting it about, about right. In the trade, it's also called polishing. Oh yeah, yeah, I've heard that. Polishing yeah, the plaster. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. So if your paint skids on it, that squeaky floorboard there. Eh? You're not squeaking this in this house. It's fucking that double bed upstairs. No, that don't get no squeaking at the minute, mate. I'm sure you. Is that a professional way? That's really? the trick. Is that a professional way? They look very really professional. In and out, sort of damp down. Oh, I can't get over how polished your drawers. You're taking the piss or what? No, we'll do that again. Oh, oh yeah, fighter. <laughs> oh yeah, we've got a leak. It's still a bit wet, Mark. Is it? I'll stop from this corner because this corner is going off. Right, guys, that's it. As you can probably see, ceiling's all plastered and it's fully dry. So, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Got to get it painted now. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Uh, this little video on how to plaster uh, a, a ceiling. Maybe you want to, you know, do it in your own lounge or something. Have a bit of a go. If you're going to have a go, do it on a smaller ceiling. You know, probably a bathroom ceiling or something like that till you get the hang of it. Because uh, I don't like plastering ceilings because it's uh, complete boring. That's why I'd rather pay somebody else to do it. Like my mate Sam. Yeah, good lad it is. Good lad, I built like a brick shit out, so don't want to mess with him. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video on how to plaster a ceiling. Uh, many thanks to uh, Sam for you know taking time out to uh, you know do the video for you guys and plaster the ceiling and probably give you a little bit of an idea how these professionals you know go about it. Not saying he's a professional, but it can do a bit. Can so yeah, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, 
Uh, subscribe if you're not done so already. I think you just press that little picture down there in the corner. That will take you straight to the main page and you can subscribe. New videos coming out um, every week. So, yeah, make sure you subscribe. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, Plus, Tumblr website. Also got my own website, wallingtonfilming.com. So, yeah. Until next time, from the Candleman, catch you later. Muscle, isn't it? That, that. It's relaxed muscle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what you'll find that is.